This is pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, PCCE, for abbreviation. The function of pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium is primarily the secretion of mucus and the movement or propulsion of that mucus by ciliary action, and we find it primarily in the trachea and upper respiratory tract. Here is our first slide looking at this pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium using the 4X objective. And where do we want to find? Well, we see a lot of different tissues on this slide, but the thing that we're looking for, the PCCE, is located in a strip on the edge. We don't see a lot of details. Underneath that, we can see some connective tissue. And this looks like some hyaline cartilage. We can see lacuna with little chondrocytes in them. Again, here is the exact layer, this darker layer, of pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. So we're going to want to zoom in there. Here we have increased magnification. We're now using the 10x objective. And we can actually see some of the cilia along this ciliated columnar epithelium. Again, here is the layer of pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium and the tissue underneath becomes a little clearer. This is clearly dense irregular connective tissue underneath. Now here we can see it's separated from the dense irregular but here is the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelial tissue. We can see some goblet cells which produce mucus and we can see very clearly the cilia on the surface of this tissue. Here is a second slide of the PCCE, and again, we're going to look right here along this outer edge. Epithelial tissue always lines the outside or inside of a body cavity, so there's always a space next to it. Here is the same slide using the 10x objective, and we can see this little strip of pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium and the cilia look like a fuzzy edge on the outside and here we can see that same slide using the 40x objective and we can see very clearly the cilia here's the basement membrane that runs along this would be the apical surface and we can even see the various nuclei mixed in here and what looks like a few goblet cells mixed in as well.